the Lip Smack Pop trial investigated the effect of preoperative physiotherapy intervention to prevent postoperative pulmonary complications in adults undergoing planned major open upper abdominal surgery. Upper abdominal surgery is the most frequent major surgical procedure performed in developed countries. Postoperative pulmonary complications are the most common serious complication after this type of surgery and are strongly associated with morbidity, mortality and cost, which highlights the importance of prevention. Existing evidence about the preventative effect of preoperative education and training in breathing exercises is promising but limited by methodological limitations such as non-blind assessors and low-risk surgical cohorts. The primary aim of this study was to estimate the effect of preoperative education, breathing exercise training and an education booklet compared to the booklet alone for reducing the risk of postoperative pulmonary complications in adults having planned major open upper abdominal surgery. Adults awaiting major upper abdominal surgery at one of three Australasian public hospitals were invited to participate. They were excluded if they had very poor mobility or required organ transplant. 441 eligible adults agreed to participate. 222 were randomised to the preoperative physiotherapy group and 219 were randomised to the control group. Allocation was concealed. Participants in the preoperative physiotherapy group had a 30-minute session to educate them about postoperative pulmonary complications, provide an individualised risk assessment, train them in breathing exercises, and emphasise early ambulation as prevention. They also received a booklet summarising this information. Participants in the control group received the booklet only. From the first postoperative day, both groups received a standardised assisted early ambulation program and a reminder to do the breathing exercises on the first day. The primary outcome was the incidence of postoperative pulmonary complications within 14 days or by hospital discharge, whichever came sooner. Participants were assessed daily until day 7 and then only if a pulmonary complication was clinically suspected. The definition of a pulmonary complication was the presence of at least 4 of 8 criteria. Analyses were by intention to treat and assessors were blinded. 27 participants, or 12%, in the preoperative physiotherapy group had a postoperative pulmonary complication compared to 58 participants or 27% in the control group. This equates to an absolute risk reduction of 15%. This estimate comes with some uncertainty. The effect could be as small as a 7% reduction in risk or as large as a 22% reduction in risk. The 95% confidence interval includes the worthwhile effect of 10%, which is nominated by the authors in their sample size calculation. Physiotherapists could deliver a session of education and training within the six weeks prior to open upper abdominal surgery to reduce the incidence of subsequent pulmonary complications. Mm -hmm.